Hello, today we're going to review a paring knife. It's made by Rada Cutlery and it's called Regular Paring Knife by Rada Cutlery. Um, so what happened is I was making the order in Amazon and I needed to you know have over $35 worth of uh, items to get the free shipping so I was adding on stuff and I, I added on this knife as well because we needed a knife and um, it's not super expensive, it was $6.50 plus free shipping so uh, not bad plus it had uh, 170 custom reviews all of them 5 stars 5 stars from 170 custom reviews and I was like okay it sounds like it might be a good deal so I, I think this is the first time I ever used a knife from Rada Cutlery maybe I did use it earlier before but I don't know. I mean, I don't really use knives, but maybe my mother, the wife, they used a knife from Rada Cutlery before. Not sure, but uh, we're going to check it out. Now, this company has been making knives. It's made in the USA since 1948, and it has a lifetime guarantee. Um, it says that it's hand sharpened, and the blade is three and a quarter inch. And the overall length of, length of the whole knife is six and three quarters inch. So let's check it out. I never used the knife before, so this will be the first time in action. So you guys get to see it. I did use it to cut paper just to see if it was sharp enough to cut paper, and uh, it cut paper, but it wasn't super sharp. It was all right on cutting paper, and I don't want to do it again because I don't want to keep cutting paper messing it up. So let's check it out. Let's get into it. Here it is. Here's the knife. Uh, this is how it came in this packaging. It says regular paring knife. Rada cutlery made in USA. Plastic thing. That's how it came with the plastic. And then this is what it is high carbon stainless steel made in USA hand wash all quality cut cutlery and the sheet now um, one thing about the sheet a lot of the knives nowadays they have sheet that comes with it nice sheet that, I mean not this is just the paper you know so basically there's no sheet and that's fine but there are knives that come with sheet these days it's common so here's the knife. One good thing about it is it's very, very, very shiny. As you can tell, the camera's coming up. See how shiny it is? It's like a mirror. So that's pretty cool. That it's like a mirror. Uh, you can see the, you can see it glistening. So it's very shiny. It's like a mirror. And um, I have to say, this edge piece right here is very sharp. I mean, this is not detailed because it's sharp. It's sharp enough to actually hurt you while you're doing something. You can see the the marks that are left on the paper. I mean, it, will, it can it can cut you if you're touching this part because it's sharp. And uh, you can see the edging is not smooth. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not smooth. It's like just it's just not smooth it's just like cut here cut there cut there it's not it's not even even and it's not smooth it's sharp over here which is a flaw should have been smoothed out and it's also uh, if you can see how it's it's not a, sm a smooth thing it's just slanted here slanted there it's sharp it's sharp and cut up so trying to get a good shot of that to show you how it's sharp like that how different parts of it yeah there you go you can see it a little bit better how it's all like kind of I don't know you know it's not smooth it, this part is very sharp it can actually hurt you if you're like you know if you're going fast pow it can get cut so that's one thing alright now what we're going to do is use it for the first time to cut some stuff. 
Okay, so I washed the knife, and that was about the packaging. I told you guys about the packaging. And here we go. Let's get into the the real deal. What we have here, we have a tomato for my garden. Grow your own food. Grow your own food. Yeah, good stuff. Gar tomato, uh, a tomato for my garden. A lime. Look at that lime. We got onion, small onion, and this thing. What is this? This is an Asian pear. Wait, let me get that packaging for you. It's not this knife. Let me get that packaging to show you guys. It is apple pears. I mean, they call it apple pears, Asian pears. This one is a product of USA. But they're good, man. Apple pears. They're very good. All right. All right. What's going to be the first one on the list? Well, the onion I want to cut last because I don't want onion residue on my tomato or my lime or the apple pear. So let's go to the tomato first. This is washed, right? It should be washed. See how it cuts. Uh, how are we going to cut it? Um, I don't know. Let's just cut it. Let's make cuts like that. Ooh. Smooth. I like it. Yeah, it's sharp. It's definitely sharp. I'm just cutting it all weird ways. Get on YouTube and watch a video on how to cut a tomato. Okay, after this I'll do that. As I need to know how to cut tomatoes. Um, yeah, it's sharp though. Definitely sharp. Very sharp. It's so sharp it's putting marks in the cutting board. Feels good too on the hand. This is a f tomato from my garden, so let's make some more cuts. Let's see here. Let's take this and. Well, they're going to have to make something with this, you know. I don't know what they're going to make with this. But I don't know the type of cut I made. It might be difficult for them to make something with it. But it's alright. It cut well on the tomato. So it's nice. That's the tomato. Alright. I gotta tell you, man. That tomato was smelling good. Delicious. Growing your own food. That was smelling good. I just have the onion. It's not that strong, you know. So, yeah. Alright. Here we go with the pear. I washed off the board and everything. And uh, let's get down to the pear. Yeah. You gotta press it a little bit, you know. It's, it's a small knife. It's a small knife. So we gotta do small jobs. Let's do it again. Uh, I think it should be like, like this, right? Yeah. Don't make fun of my cutting. I don't cut stuff, except for like branches, you know, like survival knives. Uh, by the way, just want to show you. This is my saw Twitch too. I made a review on that, so you can check out on that. Now this I use all the time. I know how to use this all day long. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. Check out my video on the Sox Twitch too, though. It's a very good EDC everyday carry, but let's get back to this. The Rada. Cut the repairing knife. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, it's alright. It's kind of alright. You just gotta get used to it, but it's, it has a nice feel to it, you know? Uh, one more. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like the way it, it feels and the way it cuts. It's small. You gotta hold it a certain way. I don't know. Kids and people are thinking, like, what are you talking about? You don't have to hold it a certain way. Alright. That's that one. And now we're gonna do this one. One more over here. It's nice. I like it. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's handmade, uh, hand sharpened and stuff, so I like it. Okay. What we have next is we're gonna do this. First, we gotta 
more waters. And we're back at it with the lime. We're gonna make limonade. Limonade. Yeah, lemonade, lemonade, you know. So whatever. Let's go. That was awesome. Cause it was a little hard, but it was very sharp and quick. Quick. I think one more, right, for the lime or lemonade, or this is good. Uh, maybe this is good. Oh, one more. Okay, one more. It's a nice little knife. I like it. Man, the lime smells good too. Yeah, this is a. Alright. It's nice. It's pretty cool. So far, it's been doing very good. And the last thing we got onions. Uh, I think I'm just going to cut it like this way. Let's go. Let's go with the smooth cuts. I'll save this because I don't think we need a whole bunch of onions. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, it cuts very well. It's nice. It cuts very well. It's sh shiny, man. I got it too. It's shiny, and it's cool. I think the family is gonna like it. It did a good job cutting everything. Uh, the tomatoes and the pears. Get a shot of the pears. I'll mix it with the tomato. Cut well. Cut very well. And the onions. Did I? Um. Yeah, so it's a, it's a decent knife. Um, the main thing is how long will it last? How long is it going to last for? And uh, it has a lifetime guarantee. And um, a lot of people like this knife. 170 reviews, 5 stars. So, I mean, it's shiny and stuff, you know. We'll see what happens. It was alright. It wasn't, like, super sharp, super good. I mean, but if it lasts a long time, then it will be a good knife. And so far, it's been doing it. did a really good job. The first cut was nice. I don't use it myself a lot. But uh, it's, it looks nice. Looks nice. It feels good. And we'll see how long it lasts, how, how well it does. But it has a lot of good reviews. And it did a good job in the first cut. That's all for today. Wait, you still trying to get more sh more shots of this? Okay. All right, here. Uh, Rada, cut that. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, yeah, and don't make fun of my tomato cut.